Round one highlights from the Web.com Tours Chitty Matcha Louisiana Open. Presented by Natcher, held in Broussard, Louisiana. We'll start it off on the 11th hole with Eric Axley. You remember him from the PGA Tour, bouncing back and forth this year. This for a long birdie attempt on the 11th. That was to get to four under on the day. He would then unfortunately go double bogey, bogey to finish one under overall. Darren Stiles on the fourth. He's at three under par to this point. Now this is his third shot on the par four. Finds himself just off the green. Winds are up. But take a look at this shot. It is perfect or nearly perfect. It hits the flagstick, stays out of the cup. He cannot believe it. Next time, maybe he will take that flag stick out, have a little bit more confidence in his shot making. Darren Stiles finishes at three under overall. Bill Lundy on the third. This is his tee shot, par three. He's at two under to this point. He did start on the back nine, so made the turn at two under par. And a beautiful tee shot there. Leaves himself just a couple of feet for birdie, which he would go on to make. He would finish at three under par as well. Hao Tong Lee, you'll probably remember him from finishing T7 at the WGC HSBC Champions back in November. He was in contention for the majority of that tournament. The kid has got game, as you can see there, with his approach on the fourth. Sticks it to about six feet. He would go on to move to four under par, and he would finish at six under overall. That's just two back. Charlie Wee, a five-time runner-up on the PGA Tour, trying to get back to full status there as well. That was a nice birdie for him on the second to move to two under. He would also finish with a six under 65 in a tie for fifth. Matt Harmon, Michigan State alum. This is his third shot on the par 512. He put together a bogey free six under 65. A beautiful approach there into the green. Coming off birdie on 11, he would birdie 12 there and 13 as well for three in his last four. Over to J.J. Spawn. He was the Order of Merit winner on the McKenzie Tour last year, which means he has full status on the Web.com Tour. So a huge, huge award for consistent play in Canada last season. That was his birdie on 17. And he would put together an 8-under 63 bogey-free on Thursday. So that play we saw from him all year last year in Canada, well, is certainly rolling over here on the Web.com Tour in Louisiana. He's tied for the lead with Ryan Armour, Already won in Panama earlier this year. That is his long birdie on 12 for an 8 under 63 as well. He's tied for first.